Hi there, today we're going to look a bit at how to produce power using fossil fuels. Fossil fuels can be like coal, wood, um, etc. Stuff that can burn. So here I've made a little setup uh, and there are some special blocks that we need to uh, take note of. Here's some coal. Here is a fan. Here is the electric fire igniter. Here is the pump. And here is the fire hatch and conveyor belts. First, let's take a look at the fire hatch and conveyor belts. If we take a coal block and place on a conveyor belt, the conveyor belt will push it into the fire hatch, and the fire hatch will push any burnable block to the other side. Also, the fire hatch will push up till eight blocks to the left, like that. And that is to be used to push uh, blocks, burnable blocks, inside a confined area. Switch off that. The pump is, of course, for pumping water. The electric fire igniter will set fire to any block that can burn. Let's put some leaves here. And if there's power in the area, it will light the blocks that it touches on fire. Here's the fan. The fan is used for uh, sucking air and blowing a lot of air into a confined area. And that is used, uh, needed for uh, making um, uh, coal and etc. burn at high temperatures. And here's a coal block. Over here we have uh, a coal silo and usually coal is delivered by truck or by... by um, by ship and here we imagine it's by ship and we can put blocks onto the conveyor belt system the ship of course will offload the, the coal here and it will one by one transport the coal via the conveyor belt up and into the coal silo like that so here is basically a storage for the coal that we have um, drilled or mined somewhere and or delivered by ship or something like that. So it's been put in here. We have glass, so we can take a look. Here we have a burning chamber down here. And via this conveyor belt, it's turned off at the moment, but via this conveyor belt it's going to deliver the coal blocks into the fire hatch. The fire hatch will push the coal blocks in here. It will only push up till maximum 8 blocks and only blocks that can burn and at some point you can see here it will push the blocks uh, until on top of the f electric fire igniter and light the coals on fire over here we have the fan the fan is as I said before will is used for uh, putting a lot of air getting a lot of air into the burning chamber uh, when stuff burns, it emits smoke. The smoke needs to be taken away, so we have put a pipe here. Goes all the way up here. Can take out the pipe, uh, the smoke. If you don't have a s pipe to take out the smoke, this entire area will fill the smoke and the fire will be put out. Here we have a uh, pump. I'm just going to enable that pump. Takes water from down here and into the boiling chamber. So in a second, I, you know, there's, there's glass around this, these two areas so you can see what's actually happening inside. Um, so, oops, there's some old leftover steam here. We come water in and the water starts coming in here and let's enable the coal, the, the conveyor belts for the coals. So they start moving in here. And you will see as soon as the coal touches the electric fire igniter, the coals will be set on fire and the water will start boiling, producing steam. Burning coal and other fossil fuels inside a confined area, this area is not connected to the outside, will produce um, a lot of uh, medium pressure steam 
so that will be able to drive the medium pressure um, steam turbine or the small steam turbine. Only the uranium rods can power the large uh, steam turbine. Um, the optimal number of burning blocks inside a burning chamber is eight blocks. So we have eight burning cold blocks here, and that is optimal for making uh, uh, steam for the for the steam turbine. Just waiting a second to get it a bit more stable, and also. Uh, as I said before, the burning blocks uh, let out uh, smoke and you need to get rid of that smoke and that comes through this pipe. If we block the pipe, let's put a, a block up here, I'm gonna block the pipe so smoke cannot get out, you will see that the chamber in here is being will be filled more and more with smoke and finally uh, it's not the fire is not able to burn here, the blocks are not able to burn because there's just too much smoke in there. So that's why you have to have a, a, a pipe that can uh, get rid of the smoke. So you can see it gets more and more dark now. And there. The electric fire igniter will try to um, start the, the the to lit the coals on fire again, but since there's no air in there, it's not gonna happen. So let's just um, get rid of the block up here, get out, get rid of the smoke, and you should be able to see that the the smoke is now clearing inside the chamber. and it's possible to uh, make a fire again in there. It's also possible to uh, boil water without a confined area, but it will only make like low pressure steam. It won't burn as hot. So you can only, uh, it can only drive the small, um, it can only drive the small uh, steam turbine. Let's get rid of the sound. Um, so this is uh, basically a, a full setup of how to uh, produce power using uh, fossil fuels. Of course, there is, uh, you will need uh, some initial power to, um, to power the pump, to power the fan, to power the electric fire igniter and so on. And, and also the, the conveyor belt blocks will need, it, uh, need some initial power. So that's why we put like a, a windmill up there wind turbine up there to have initial power and again if you want to see the area that has power right click on the uh, um, press the right control button and if the area is blue you have power also you can use the map the small the mini map and right click on the right control button you can see the area that has power okay um, thanks for watching how to make power using fossil fuels